Hello, my dear moths, and also my ladies and gents, because I'm putting this on um, both groups. Um, I came down to um, pack the heart and horse kits, and it was just so much wool hair, so much over every place, that I decided I had to clean the sewing room. So I'm cleaning the closet of some wool and some things that I don't need. Uh, not that much, mostly one of, but first I have a question for you. I have so much of these small pieces. There would be pieces that would be cut, um, long strips, you know, and now that we don't cut pennies, I don't have anything to do with them. And I actually bagged them up and I have two garbage bags full. They haven't gone anywhere yet. But uh, I have a question for you. This morning when I was looking on the internet and finding some inspiration pieces, I found this. Um, they're calling it a table mat. Um, I don't know how large it is. I didn't think to look, but I am going to put this on um, on the groups. What would you think if I did a kit? Um, I would do the shapes. And the reason this is so good is because it has a square in the center, and I'll explain that later. But what I would do, I would do these shapes on paper and I would number them one, two, three, four, five. Uh, maybe not do something like that, that's a little too small. And just keep going around with numbers. And I gave you a package of wool with cut into squares or triangles or whatever you could get out of it. <clears throat> I wouldn't give you this type of course, but I would tidy them up and give you pieces that would all fit. <clears throat> and then um, I would give you tongues, you know, the, the tongues from the tongue mat, instead of uh, something like that, you could put tongues on it. Uh, use your own thread. And I would have some of my old cottons for the backing. It seems to be, I wonder if I'm in focus here, it seems to be such a darn easy Thing to do. You would need, or I would probably give you, uh, you need something to, un to go under it. You would need a piece of cotton to go under, and then you would um, either do your fusing, whatever your fusing is, or pin, and you could just pin as you go and stitch. You wouldn't have to lay it all out. You could just pin and stitch, and then pin and stitch. As long as you have your your pieces like this to go to. It's sort of like you would do a penny rug, but, um, and then once you go to the outside edge, you would just, before you stitched, <clears throat> uh, you could stitch in here, and then you would tidy it up with your rotary cutter and things like that, or you could leave it like that, which looks very old and it's not, just leave it as it is. I would. Yeah, that looks good. So tell me what you think. Uh, is that something that you would be able to do that you would be interested in? Something that I can use the scraps that there are too small. They're too small to put in a bag like this. They're just too tiny. And <clears throat> I hate to throw them away, so I'm not sure what to do with them. The other thing is uh, we could do um, very small squares and you could do the same thing and put it together but I like this better this looks old and and uh, really good I think there's some cottons in there that would be nice I do have lots and lots of that stuff too that's nice all different um, take all your old odds and ends of thread Threads all different color. I'll actually put this on both groups so you can see it. 
<clears throat> now, the reason <clears throat> that I immediately thought of this today is because of this square. I originally did these as kits. Um, very similar, only there was no square in the center, and it was the Dickens to do. I mean, I had to do numbers and things, and I actually cut those pieces out when I sent the kit. Absolutely ridiculous. And then, this is very dark, but I don't know if you can see it. It's a log cabin done with strips of wool. But this seems to be so simple. And of course, I would tidy these up. Where am I on the camera? You know, I wouldn't have things like this. I would just tidy them up into squares, rectangles, different types. But yes, that, I, 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 when I saw that, I immediately loved it. It was so good. These are cottons too. And we could do cottons along with that. I have loads and loads of that. That would be good. Okay, so on to clearing the closet. Now, I had this on last time and um, I was going to sell it just as a piece. And I really um, couldn't find anything to go with it, but when I found this, I took it off so it wouldn't sell and I made the kit from it. Now, um, this is, do you know how difficult it is to find a very good, very old black blanket? And this is black, you can see it. Such a nice old, this is not dyed, this is the original color. And I have only in all my years had one. I mean, you get them navy, you get them grayish black, but not as black as this. It was beautiful. And it had the, um, the wool stitching on the ends of it. So <clears throat> I made this a long time ago uh, because I was supposed to have a very long, long table for my keeping room and I started the rug. Now this is six feet. I'll just go through it and you can see in the camera. Very, very long, six feet, different stars. And um, the backing, um, I was bad at doing knots in my threads. <laughs> it has one flaw in it and there's the pin. And you can see that my finger, it's, a, but I'm good for that. I mean, that just makes it look old. I'll put the pin back. Okay, so that, and it's um, 14, I think 14 inches wide and um, about six feet long. Now, this is the binding. And I made it uh, quite wide. You can make a narrow binding, a narrow binding, or you can make a wide binding, whatever. But everything works so perfectly. I mean, you can see how good they match. And that, that's going to be a beautiful piece. Isn't that nice? <clears throat> Taking all these kits apart. That's why I don't um, close the bags. Now the backing is very, it's thin on, let's see, it's very thin, very nice. It needs to have a center seam. I didn't have it long enough to do uh, a whole straight piece, but then that, that's good, right? That's a lot of quilts, uh, quilts and uh, mats had that. So this is a kit, there's no thread. But the only thing you will need to do in this kit is to stitch this in the center, pin it back back to the front and put the binding on. And I've given you lots and lots of binding. So that is a kit that's going on today. And really, I just want to get rid of these things. They have been just a pain sitting around here. 
<clears throat> they're not, uh, well, this one wasn't complete. That's why it was, it was sitting here. Now, I have two more incomplete kits. And it's your choice of what you do with them, all, but these are the, um, these are those. The um, marriage rugs. And I've also done the same in um, just a, the black wool. I actually think, and I do have that mat somewhere, uh, it's taken apart. I took it apart in order to do this one, to learn how to do it so that I could have a template and that sort of. So it's in pieces, but this is from that wool, that wool blanket. And that was very early on. That was really before I even started doing kits. So what I have is, I have, I believe this is complete. It doesn't have the thread, but I do have the centers. The centers cut for it. Um, it seems to be complete. I'm not gonna take it out and count it and things, but I'm pretty sure that it will make um, there's over a hundred of those little pieces. So I'm pretty sure it will make, oh gosh, these are so touchy to take out. It will make one, one of the marriage kits, but there's no thread with it. Now, you could use um, a darker thread. You don't need a light thread. I actually think a, a dark thread, maybe a dark uh, burgundy thread would look nice. And you don't need to use it as a marriage rug with the names. You can just do it as a rug like this. Now, I have, there's no lining, but I have the templates. And if you've done one of these rugs, you know this. They're tissue paper templates. And there is the video on YouTube that shows how to do this, how to use it with the tissue paper. So you have the template. Sorry, I don't I want, I want to close these up again. I don't want to mess them up. And you also have this because you need to your your uh, tongues in your kit are not cut around, so you will need that pattern to, to cut them around. And you just cut them on the edge. You don't cut down this way. The other thing you can do with this is um, just make a rug and put a penny on it. Now, <clears throat> where is my photo again? This one has the, the stitching. And you really need to have something like that to hold the tongues down. But you can absolutely use a penny to do that. Or you can, I wouldn't suggest you use anything larger than that one. I think that's an inch penny or a three quarter. But you can use a penny and have pennies all through. And then um, this one has the straight thing, which is a marriage wrap. Uh, these have the center and then the little ones and little ones and little ones and that's what it is in this kit um, you could put pennies on those actually if you can just visualize all those dots they would be pennies and you could do different colors and different rows and whatever so it's a new idea for, for something to try so I have this one in beige no thread um, nothing like that, but you do get the pattern and everything. Now, this one, I have, I had some of these cut out that I was going to do one in this color. And that's the type of wool. It's a, like a Tweety type. There is some of these cut. Uh, I think maybe there's 40 or 50 there. But, you also have this, 
very large end of the blanket that I didn't finish cutting. And it's the whole width of the blanket. Sorry about that, but it's the whole width of the blanket and it's this. Now, for me, uh, if you were using that for the marriage rug type, the scallop rug type, I would use the centers for this, which are these. And that would be very nice. And then you could use these and cut the rest of your your tongues and, and you're going to have way more left than that. <clears throat> There's lots in there besides um, that many tongues. So that's another of the kits that is going on today. And I will, as I say, you get the pattern, you get the tissue and I will put this pattern in, this in for you. But um, I'm not going to write instructions. Uh, they're on the video. I'm not going to do a fancy cover or anything like that. This is just get rid of stuff. Not make more work. <laughs> Although, hitting a button on the printer is not work, but still. Okay, that is those. Now, the next thing I have is, I ran out of pennies. Of course, that we don't cut more, right? I ran out of pennies uh, for the kits for the um, army Christmas stockings. So I'm just selling the stocking on its own, cheap, um, two pieces, no thread. And this one, this one has part of the US on it. Uh, no thread, no pennies, just this. And I will have those on and that's about the only thing, except um, the last thing that I have, that's about the only thing that's more than one of. And I'm going to add um, postage this time. So um, be careful if you buy in multiple things. We'll have to figure that out. So I have one, two, three, four of the khaki, the old army blanket with the with the uh, label and I only have two of the green so I have two and there again just just the wool cut out you need the pennies or you can actually decorate it with the templates um, as we did before you could do that last thing I have <clears throat> I took these off and I added a bit more this is the scrap bag of wool and these are small pieces. They are very small pieces, you see? So I just want to get rid of those. I just put more in and there will be two bags of those. And of course they're not all the same color, but you can tell that what it is. Lots of this. Good to make pennies, good to do applique. That's a nice piece, isn't that nice? And this too, I love those blankets. They dye so nice. If you can see this, yeah. Okay, and that is it. So, um, I'm not quite sure what time it is, probably in the afternoon. I'm going up and um, try, fingers crossed, to get that video loaded. And, uh, I don't think it will go on YouTube. I think it's probably going to be too large. So, uh, I mean on Facebook alone. So I'll probably have to upload it to YouTube again. And then I will be on Moths and um, have everything listed and on Ladies and Gents. So thank you everyone. Everyone keep your fingers crossed that tech goes good and my video is good. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.